Hello and welcome to my new tutorial. Today we will create a takeout coffee cup. So let's start by selecting the ellipse tool, creating an ellipse like this. Then select the ellipse, press Alt, just move it up, press Alt and Shift, resize a little bit. Put it even more up, select both, press horizontal alignment so that we are sure they are aligned correctly, and then select, take the pen tool. Select the upper anchor point, go down, the other side, up, up, back. So now we have the main body of our cup. Okay, the next step is to create the lid for the cup. So therefore we select the upper ellipse, press Ctrl C, Ctrl F to duplicate it. And then we can just press again Alt and Shift and resize a little bit to so make it a little bit bigger. Then press again Alt was the wrong place press alt here for this one and just move it up a little bit make sure that it's on the correct position then again create our take our pen tool connect the corners like this Then we will select this the lower ellipse and this rectangle here and just go to Pathfinder Unit. So now we have to make sure that this pass is below the other one. So we do it like this. And in order to make it a little bit more visible, we will select now the correct colors. So connect here this color, the darker one for this part, for the upper part we select the lighter brown. So now we of course have to move this part to the button, lower it. And we see still something is wrong here. So they have to be switched. So okay, cool. So we now have the first part. So we now will select this both, press Ctrl C, Ctrl F. So we created the copy, make a little bit smaller, and then go up. Yeah, perfect. So next step is to add the straw so therefore we will select the upper ellipse press again ctrl c ctrl f to duplicate it make it way way smaller like this and select a different color i just select here uh, light gray something like this so we have the opening where we can put the straw so next step is to create the straw therefore we will just resize this one so that everything fits put it here take the pen tool just start somewhere here so just for simplicity to make it simpler to create it make this and that so we have our base shape for our straw then we go to the appearance panel. You can just go here to switch border, uh, stroke, and fill color. Let's make it a little bit bigger here. Okay, like this. Then take the eyedropper tool. 
press shift and then you can select the color you want so shift if you press shift the stroke color will used else if I just pr would press here I would just change the complete color so but I want to change the stroke color and this is why I additionally press shift so now I think we have a basic stroke which looks good so we can go to object expand this makes the stroke into into an object so we have this object here so we might move it a little bit to the left like this so we can select this both things here and then we go here shape builder press alt which results on remove and then we just remove this lower part here and we now have our stroke which looks how it should look so so far we have our basic structure so we want to make it a little bit more interesting so we put something here on top therefore we go again to the lips tool just make a circle like this change again to stroke put it somewhere here in the middle make the stroke a little bit bigger like this so and then go here to right click and select star tool so you'll create a star if you press shift it stays upwards again switch between fill and stroke put it here in the middle so you cannot directly center it you have to check how it looks good like this then we select here the direct selection tool and just make the corners a little bit around very subtle so yeah like this i like that so and then we just select the ellipse down here press alt move it up ready to select different color so that we actually see it so like this so currently it's below everything so we move it up here that's the wrong red no, it's the correct red but here's the wrong red again you have to press shift to just change the color of the the stroke and just press normal eyedropper to change this one so now we want to make it a little bit nicer so to do this we have our ellipse here move a little bit in select the ellipse and fit it to the cup so that we have here exactly our border side so maybe like this pixel to the right so that's okay okay now we're pressing again alt and move it up here like this fit it again okay that's good so now you select the direct selection tool select the upper point and press delete Okay, so we have this part now now we will select the pen tool and select the upper point go down here so now we select this both parts parts here press unite select this one and we select the ellipse from before and just put a white fill color so you might can select both put a little bit down it's not so 
perfectly centered. Yeah. Cool. Looks good like this. Okay, the next step is to make it a little bit more like a 3D object. So we will add some shadows to it. To do this, I will first select this parts here. Go to Pathfinder, Unite. So we have just one body. Now I take the pen tool and just create an, an area which basically will be our shadow. We don't care about this side, but just this part should look a little bit like the corner of the mug. So we do the we then just right click. Oh, just just start with this, select both parts here, go to shape builder, press Alt to remove it. And so we see okay we have this part here now. So we have to put it on the right position, which is below all this upper parts so okay it's like this now we select here black as color go to opacity select darken and let's try five percent okay we see we have here now a little shadow and we can right click on it transform reflect like this just press copy then you can just check that it matches up here like this. Okay, we have now both sides here. Okay, we add in shadow to the straw. Yeah, but before we do this, we go to the direct selection tool and just make also the corners a little bit rounder, very subtle. Yeah, like this. Okay. Then we select this one. Press Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Then we have a copy. Do it again. Ctrl C, Ctrl F. So we have three copies here. So currently they are all in a group. This is just what for some reason Illustrator does when it when we expand just move them all out so we don't need this just select the top one move it a little bit down so this will be the shadow part where yeah, this is so we have we select this post you see here we have selected now two of the three one and then we can go here to minus font and what's left is this part here. So we select the eyedropper tool and just select here the same color. You see, okay, we have now also here the dark. Might be here a little bit more than in the white, so we can change it to, for example, 10%. Okay, I think this looks fine. So we do, do now the same for the lower part. Again, Control C, Control F, Control C, Control F. So, and now we can move this one a little bit up, check it like this, select this one, Pathfinder minus front, cool. So let's select the same color and that's it. So we now have our cup done. Okay, thank you everyone. For watching i hope you liked the video and if you did please subscribe and like the video thank you and see you next time